first up, uh, don't forget, these are back in stock. Circuit Playground Expresses. They are going fast, 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 fast. We got a shipment. So next up. We have a WFL Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth antenna. It's a 2.4 gigahertz antenna uh, with a WFL connector. Perfect for, um, we recently put in the Feather V2 with a WFL connector. Uh, so this is a nice long, I think it's like 20 centimeter long uh, cable. It's got a little PCB trace antenna on the end. Uh, here it is, it's got like a tuned antenna. It's I think two dBi gain. Um, Nice long wire with a little, little coax here. So this is a WFL. I want to just mention that this is a UFL. And this is a dub. Hold on. This is so small that I got to like twist it. Uh, so on the right is a UFL and on the left is a WFL. And you can see the WFL is smaller. The UFL looks like it'll fit. But you're like, uh-oh, it's, it's significantly tinier. Um, so this is also called an MHF3 or an IPEX3. Um, this is definitely going to fit on uh, the little connector that's on these ESP32, uh, whereas the UFL will not, so just don't mix them up. Um, if you have UFL, get this product, 2308. If you have WFL or MHF3, uh, get the one here. Okay, next up. Uh, next up, we have an um, iSpy cable. Uh, that's really short. We're going to be doing more ice buy stuff. We're waiting for some connectors and displays to come in, uh, but we've already got it in the longer cables. Maybe you want a shorter cable. We have that now. Next up. Uh, speaking of cable length, we also have long stem QT cables. People have been asking. They want long, and they want them with uh, cable covers so that they are not kind of splayed around. Yeah, a couple different times. Um, so we've got uh, these cables. Um, you can see that they are stem QT. They work wonderfully. Um, they are 300, 400 uh, millimeters. Uh, you'll see we interleaved the data between um, the ground and power. Yeah, if you look here, you see how there's like a little bit of a twist there. Um, we do that on purpose because, you know, it seems to reduce crosstalk a little bit. Um, I think it's worth a shot. Why not? Uh, so you get ground data, power, clock, and so you have two DC uh, signals between AC because, of course, I squared C is not differential. You can't just twist the wires. Uh, if your signals aren't differential, don't twist them. It doesn't do anything. Um, and uh, in fact, it can make things worse. So less crosstalk uh, and long cables, great for your stomach UT, and also they're nice and um, covered almost completely. And if these are good, we'll get uh, even longer cables. Maybe we'll get a full yeah. meter. Nuts. Um, next up, oh, this one, uh, skip this. This is the. Skip it? Yeah, sorry, that's the wrong. No, uh, just that one image. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is. Um, a USB um, to magnetic four pin cable connector. Uh, so we have these really cool cable connectors, uh, which were in the previous video, but it's a little confusing because it's like, that's not the Oh, product. that's why I got it. We don't, yeah. want, we don't want to confuse anyone. So pretend you didn't see this, but this is how these things work. Yeah, okay. so they, they, there's magnets, you know, you, there's four pogo pins and then north oh, and south magnets. Real, real, yeah, real. we can just show the real thing. So. Um, you know, before we just showed um, the, the, you know, this and another pin connector cable. This one has a USB on the end, so you have, you know, power, ground, um, data plus, data minus. And um, these, you know, you can't, like I'm trying to plug it in and it's like not plugging in because it's not the right way. But when I flip it over, it connects very nicely. Uh, and so you can get a, um, you know, waterproof, weatherproof connector. Uh, if you, you know, seal this on your contacts, you don't have an expo exposed port. Um, and then when you, it's time to upload code or debug or connect a USB, um, you just plug this on. So this cable is only the cable. It doesn't come with the matching contact. Um, we'll try to get it with a single contact in the future. But for now, you'll have to pick up the other kit set that has the two sides. Um, and this connects to the flat side. Okay. And Still very handy. next up. Um, next up, uh, this was because I was putting together a computer and I kept losing little screws and stuff. And so I was like, I want to have a little kit in the store that has all of the different chassis, fan, motherboard, M.2, O-ring, you know, hard drive, uh, SSD, floppy disk, optical disk, whatever connectors that you could possibly want. Um, so you get like 10 to 20 of each. Yeah. Pardon me. Um, no, I got the sneezies. Um, and uh, you also get a screwdriver and some uh, 
silicone um, heat paste. So if you're attaching a, a heat sink, that's very handy as well, because um, that stuff dries out if you, um, if you don't have the fresh stuff. Uh, but it has a little bit of everything, because I think um, if you've ever put together a computer, it's like you lose these screws or you forget which one, and some of them are like yeah. unusual. Some of them are like M2s or M3s, but some of them are like these weird um, sheet metal screws that are like, if you don't have it, you're never gonna find it at the hardware store. So I like having a, a combo kit. It also has those large uh, thumb screws that are always used for the enclosures. Okay, and the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, our staff and everyone who makes this happen is this little the, traffic the, light—the cutest, tiniest traffic light ever. Yes. So this traffic light—it's um, used for model makers, but I just thought, like, you know, anything with LEDs in it is always so great. So it's—it's um, it's basically a common anode uh, setup with three LEDs: red, yellow, green. As you expect, I think there's a resistor inside, um, yeah. so you can just power it directly from. Uh, three to five volts, but here I've just got it connected up to three volts. Uh, maybe I'll zoom in to get nice and close. And then auto focus, hold on. This is, okay, bam. So I've got the yellow and then over here I've just got um, wires connected. So it's common anode, so you'll want to um, keep the red wire connected. And then you can touch the yellow uh, red or green wires to ground to power them. So I'm just touching them to the alligator clip. Turn on the red or turn on the yellow or turn on the, the green. One second, I'm just going to disconnect this. So, or you can turn on the green. So red, yellow, green. What would it be good for? I don't know, but it's like small and tiny, maybe jewelry or wearables or a little, um, you know, we have tower lights, but what if they're too big? What if you want like a very yeah. tiny tower well, light? Well, one of the projects is like, what if you have a conference badge and you want to have a indicator uh, red, you, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna really talk right now. Yellow, maybe, you know, and green, yeah, talk to me all you want. So we thought that would be kind of a fun little Yeah, it's, it's actually got that molded plastic uh, cover, so you um, it actually looks like a traffic light. Yeah. And then it's got a metal pole, which, uh, again, it was intended Optional. for model making. Or maybe you're making a, um, you know, we went and saw that uh, model railroad or model train yeah. set, or you're making a dollhouse, and you want to have a safe crossing for your dolls. That's right. Uh, this traffic light will do it. And that's new product. Ooh.